They are in alignment with women that the enemy has sent to derail yes. the ministry. Yes. Yeah. You know, as, as men of God, we gotta stop acting like we hip hop entertainers. Oh, yeah, no. mm. We travel, and then the, the groupies in the church. You don't want to find out what, what, what hotel the man of God staying in. Yeah. And they want to get to the room before the man of God get there. Yeah. You don't want the man of God stick his key in and, and there's some groupie laying in the bed. No, you got to kick him out, man of God. You got to kick him out. Hey, you're not Jay-Z. You're not Puff Daddy. You got to kick him out. Drop him out. Go back downstairs and get another key. Exactly. I'm telling you, women and men are looking for opportunities to get rich. They're looking for opportunities to scam the men of God. They're looking for opportunities to have men of God and women of God's babies. Huh? The man of God is hungry, he has an anointing on his life. Listen, they want that child just like somebody want Kobe Bryant's child. That's right. That's good. Come on now. Come on now. And we got to be careful. We got to be holy. Jonah arose 
and went. He arose and went. The word of the Lord had to come to him a second time. The Bible shows us how God pursued Jonah. He pursued Jonah. Why did God pursue the man of God that we would think well, God would give that assignment to somebody else? Because he didn't give the assignment to somebody else because Jonah was operating in immaturity. God is still merciful. He wants you to finish the job. Hmm? I said he wants you to finish the job. He wants you to operate in a place of alignment and finish the job. Your assignment is still yours. What has God called you to do? What has he ordered you to do? What prophetic words have you received within the last 10 years that you haven't operated in? What prophetic words? Go back and get those tapes. Go back and get those CDs and listen to those words and see what God has called you to do. What a time. You know, the prophetic words are very detailed. Matthew chapter 7, look at verse 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravaging wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns, figs, or thistles? Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that brings not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit shall ye know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of the Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name do many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Verse 24, therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine, sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Now, the word of God teaches this. In the Amplified Version, verse 24 reads this way. So everyone who hears the words of mine and acts upon them, obeying them, will be like a sensible, prudent, practical, wise man who built his house upon the rock. The Bible teaches that there are many false prophets that have went out into the land. Many false apostles. Okay? We're living in the 21st century. Don't think that there are not false prophets, false apostles among you. We just experienced a couple of weeks ago false prophet proclaiming that the end of the world was coming on what? May 21st at 6 p.m. all over the world. But May 22nd still came. False prophet. You know, he, got, he had followers to come after him. He, he spent money, thousands of dollars for billboards and people were, were, were destroying their families. I heard a report where this lady, she, she cut her daughter's neck and cut her own neck because the end of the world was coming. The great thing was that she, she did not succeed in killing herself or the daughter. Hallelujah. Why do we per, pursue wrong projects? I'll tell you why. Number one, we lack confidence in God's voice. I said we lack confidence in God's voice. We're not sure when God is talking. We don't spend enough time in prayer. Why do men pursue wrong projects? Number two, they value other people's thoughts rather than God's thoughts. Huh? 
People are more concerned about what other people think. Number three, they have a strong self-will concerning their own agenda. Strong self-will concerning their own agenda. Why do men pursue wrong projects? Number four, we think we're going to miss an opportunity. So we jump ahead of God. God, Lord, this opportunity, oh, I got to have it. I got to have it. It may not come around again, God. <laughs> and we pursue these, these projects. Huh? Lord, I got to get on that Avon, God. I got to get, I, 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 They said I could be a billionaire, a millionaire, by, by the end of next week. <laughs> Number five, men pursue wrong projects because they are afraid of pressure and hard work. So they take the easy way out. I said they take the easy way out. They don't do, they don't do what God said do. That's too much work. That's too much work. That's too much work to, to seek God and pray and start on something from scratch. God tell you to pioneer something. Ah, Lord, that's too much work. Lord, I want to inherit the church. Don't ask me to pioneer no little baby church. I want God, somebody got to die or something. You're going to have to give me something. Yes, this is the thought process. Why me and I are out of alignment today. Why do men pursue wrong projects? Why do men are out of alignment with the plan of God for their assignment? Number six, we think we are a better guy than the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost comes to guide you. We think we're a better guy. We 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 are better. Instead of saying, Lord, I need you. Holy Spirit, you got to help me. I need you, Holy Spirit. You promised to be there for me. You promised to take me. You promised to show me. Lord, I don't know these people. You got to reveal yourself to me. Talk to me about this situation and circumstance, God. Holy Spirit, I need your help. Do we say good morning, Holy Spirit? Do we say good night, Holy Spirit? Do we walk and talk with the Holy Spirit? Do we, do we commune? I see people that say they're apostles, but all they do is start the long war. I'm <laughs> 